What is going on gamers? Avatrix here again and today we're going to be discussing Torch and Torch Battles and some of the things that a lot of people might not realize and uh, this is mainly towards the newer players that don't exactly know how to handle Mesa and maybe some of the guilds that are struggling in Mesa. This is basically just going to cover the basics on how to really approach Mesa. Now as a disclaimer, some of the things that I'm going to be saying are mainly going off of what my guild does. Every guild has its own strategy for the most part. Every guild might have to do something different because the activity level might be different. So as, as the main thing really is to go off of what the guild instructs you to do. I mean that's really what it comes down to it. You want to follow what your guild is doing. Now of course let's go down, uh, ahead and go into the actual torch screen so to reach the torch screen you will go to your guild hall and go to torch battle which is right next to the boss screen torch battle right here now as you enter the first thing that's going to show you is your guild name the the place that you're currently in and then the amount of torches that you have right there now my guild is maxed out so we we can get up to 200 torches and right now we're at 99 which is going to be key and i'm going to talk about that in just a second now on the bottom is going to tell you the amount of time that is left and the rewards that you will get. Now for this, really Torch Battle is a game mode of having the right position to be able to pull it off at the end. Which is usually around the last 15 minutes or so. That's when you really really want to be on. If you want to make sure you're on, one of the best things you can do is set an alarm for every Wednesday and every Saturday. Having that alarm definitely can save you from not being there and might you know, it might even save your guild from maybe even making it or not making it so it's very important to be active and actually doing what you're told to do now one of the main issues with torch is that a lot of players send halls throughout the day without any instructions they just think that they're helping their guild by just sending out random halls which you go right here to the second tab and you there you go a lot of people just come to the screen, they see number one, they click on hall, they pick heroes, and then they send these 10 halls, and then they're thinking, oh, we're going to get torches, I'm helping my guild. That's actually not the case. If you have too many torches near the end of torch battles, that's actually a bad thing, and I'm going to show you why. You see these percentages that are next to these guilds, 50%, the 25%, you can either go 25%, 50%, 75% and also 100%. That's basically giving you a rough estimate of how many torches these guilds have. Now, the reason I say that 99 torches at the moment for us is very important is because when people go to hold torches and they take a look at my guild, we're going to appear. Let me show you right now. If I can find one. Oh, here we go. You see this, this one right here that says 25%. We are going to appear that we are at 25% torches, roughly. Okay, now, if we were at 100 torches, we would appear at 50% torches. So here's where this comes into play. A lot of times when, when your guild is picking opponents, they want to go for the guilds that have the most torches. That way it's easier to target them. So usually you'll be targeting 50%, 75%, etc. That's why that one torch can be very, very beneficial. Now, I'm going off of just 200 torches, okay? Depending on your guild level, it can be different. It could be less torches. But basically, you want to stay right below the halfway point. That way, you're showing off at 25% and still have a lot of torches to not have to hold too many times. Now, if, you, if you're at 99 torches, let's just say... And you have a member that just randomly sends 10 halls and they'll go, they go through, you're going to be at 109 torches. And that's automatically going to put you over at 50% and it's going to increase your chances of getting uh, targeted in the last 15 minutes, which is very, very crucial. You do not want to be targeted. You don't want to stand out near the end. You want to get all your torches with all of your halls and then have no time left for those torches to be taken from you. Which brings me to my next point. During those last 15 minutes, if you get attacked right away, let's say, just, just to give you an example, let's say you have 50 torches, okay, and you're getting attacked, you're getting targeted, 
and there is five pages meaning you have zero torches they have all of your torches usually you don't want to defend right away the reason for this is that if you successfully defend that one attack and you get one torch back or however many you can actually successfully defend you give them more time to send more halls and you are you're already using up your defenses so if you don't have a lot of active num members that can come back to bite you so that's another important thing if you see that you're getting targeted wait a few minutes give it five or six minutes wait until they're about a minute or so from reaching you and then start defending that way you give them even less time for them to target you again and you won't lose your torches so again these are the basics of torch battles um, a lot of times different guilds are going to have different rules but the one standard rule that will always be with everybody is do not haul without being told to haul i don't care if your guild is at a, it's at zero torches if you are not the leader of the guild the vice leader etc ask if you can haul trust me it'll go a long way even when you think something is very very clear and all oh, hauling is not going to make any sort of difference just ask first it can go a long way communication people that's why you have a guild you have a guild chat a lot of you have line chat if you're confused about something as far as torch a lot of the times it's better just to do nothing honestly i i rather have a member do nothing than send 10 random hauls and put us out of position and get us targeted it's really as simple as that so really, if the main thing to take away from this is follow your leaders, what the instructions are, and during the last few minutes, make sure that you send your halls and you want to be ready to defend, but don't defend too early. That's really the main points. But yeah, hopefully this can give shed some light on some of the people that don't really understand Torch and the mechanics and all of that. Basically, you, you go all of these hours just kind of vying for position and then that last 15 minutes you want to get all of the torches that you can and leave your opponent no time for them to get those torches back. And if you haul randomly, you get everybody out of position and you might cause your whole guild, one person might cause your whole guild to be targeted and get nothing. So this is why it's important to not do anything without asking your leader. But yeah. Thank you for watching guys, and until later, bye. And you better not be the random hauler.